Menteri Luar Negeri Amerika Serikat, Anthony Blinken bertemu dengan Presiden Palestina, Mahmud Abbas, di Ramallah pada minggu 5 November 2023. Dalam pertemuan tersebut, tampak keduanya saling berjabat tangan. Belum pasti isi pertemuan Blinken dengan Abbas. Akan tetapi, Blinken berkali-kali mengunjungi negara-negara Timur Tengah bersamaan dengan adanya perang antara Israel dengan Hamas. Sebelum keramalah, Blinken lebih dulu berkunjung ke Mesir dan Yordania. Di kedua negara tersebut, Blinken menekankan adanya perlindungan warga sipil Palestina di Gaza. Meski menlu Mesir dan Yordania mendesak gencatan senjata segera antara Israel dan Hamas, tetapi Blinken justru mengatakan bahwa hal itu akan kontraproduktif. Blinken juga menjelaskan bahwa tindakannya saat ini adalah mendukung jeda kemanusiaan untuk memberikan waktu bagi pengiriman bantuan kemanusiaan dan mengeluarkan warga sipil dari Gaza. It's our view that uh, a ceasefire now would simply leave Hamas in place, able to regroup and repeat what it did on October 7th. And you don't have to take my word for it, just a few days ago. A senior Hamas official said that it was their intent to do October 7th again and again and again. No nation, none of us can accept that. No one would find that follow. Uh, and so it is important to reaffirm Israel's right to defend itself, indeed its obligation to do so, and to take necessary steps so that October 7th can never happen again. But it's also very important the way Israel does that. And that's what we've talked to the Israeli government about, uh, with taking every possible measure to protect human life, to prevent civilian casualties, as well as to ensure that those who are in need have the assistance that they need.